Hi everyone, C. Stan here with the Lord of the Rings The Living Card Game. Today I have for you a great Yubo deck. Um, this is something that I've never built before, actually. I've kind of been a little reluctant to try the great Yubo just because it's a little awkward. It's got to go on a character with a printed ranged keyword. So it's pretty restrictive there. And then it allows you to attack with that character alone into the staging area. Now, it's tricky to use because if you're attacking alone and you're expecting to kill something, you need to have a lot of attack. The primary candidate, and I think the character that this card is designed for, um, both mechanically and thematically, is Bard the Bowman. Because this great U-Bow enables his ability of giving the enemy minus two defense until the end of the phase. So, um, we're going to try to use his ability to attack enemies in the staging area with the great U-Bow. Now, he has kind of high threat, which means enemies will likely engage you before you have the chance to perform this combat action. So I've chosen two other heroes with very low threat, um, and actually I get to reduce my threat by three from Aowen's ability. So I start at very low value of 23, and I, I have chosen a quest that has generally higher engagement cost enemies. So we'll see. Um, I'm not really sure if it's going to work at all. It's, uh, this is the first time I've played it. I have not even um, fine-tuned the deck. But through the course of this playthrough, if I do find some cards that would be good to include, I'll be sure to update the deck before I post it. Okay, so the quest we're playing is across the Et Moors, but we're playing the Nightmare version. And I've actually never played the Nightmare version yet either, so this is a first in a number of ways. If you're unfamiliar with the, the regular version of the quest, we basically have these a lot of side quests in the deck, and we also have um, these safe locations. And while a safe location is active, you ignore when revealed effects. Um, is there anything else? I kind of forget. Um, but th the goal is you are going through the wild and um, going from safe location to safe location to rest, but you have these constant side quests that are popping out of the deck and uh, you got to deal with them. So it's kind of a longer quest. Here, safe keyword. Um, when players travel to a location with a safe keyword, immediately return all enemy engaged enemies to the staging area. While a location with a safe keyword is the active location, ignore the one revealed effects of all treachery cards and treat the printed text box of all encounter side quests as if they were blank. And enemies do not make engagement checks. At the end of the quest phase, if the safe location is the active location, add it to the victory display. So that prevents you from staying at a safe location for a long time. Okay, let's read the nightmare setup here. Set each quest car side quest and each location with a safe keyword. Um, let me make sure this deck is set up properly, that there are no side quests in here. Oh. Uh, yep, so I need to fix this in Octagon. The side quest should all start out here. Set each side quest and each location with the safe keyword. Um, I think they're all objective locations, and I think I got them all. Okay. Uh, 
All right. So we choose, it looks like, uh, reveal one of those side quests and one of the safe locations at random, adding them to the staging area with the safe location guarded by the side quest. Okay. So we will randomize a number from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to 6. Okay, please not 6, please not 6. Okay, 5. Make camp. Um, it says reveal, so the surge triggers. And I guess it's awkward, but I guess we don't have these in the staging area yet. Or maybe that's different from the nightmare, the regular version of Quest. Okay. Oh, we also get a Marthial. Forgot about that. Um, okay. So that surges into reveal one encounter card for each quest card in play. So there are two quest cards. We've got to reveal two cards. We've got Rocky Foothills and the Roofless Hill Troll. Interesting. And then we have... Okay. Oh, and the random safe location. Three, one, two, three. We've got abandoned camp, and this is attached as a guarded objective. Shuffle the remaining side quests and safe locations into the encounter deck. Maybe I could have done all this before starting the record button, but hey, if you want a little tutorial on how to set up this quest, you can just watch this video. Discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until X enemies are discarded, where X is the number of players in the game. Add the discarded enemies to the staging area. The first player gains control of a Marthio. Okay, so we got... All right, we have a scavenging stone troll. Wow, okay. Let's see what these guys are. He gets plus two attack and defense. Well, it has three more damage on him. This guy, you cannot travel to a safe location while well, scavenging stone troll has no damage on it. And while he's in the staging area, cards in each player's discard pile cannot leave the, that discard pile. Interesting. That's some anti Kaldar attack. Okay. At the beginning of the quest phase, if there are no encounter side quests in play, discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until a side quest is discarded, reveal it, and add it to the staging area. Okay. And right now, characters cannot be healed. After it's defeated, each player heals up to three damage and controls. Lastly, we've got Rocky Foothills. When faced with the option to travel, the players must travel to Rocky Foothills if able. And Rocky Foothills gets plus two quest points for each quest in play. Hmm. Okay. Um, that's interesting. Okay. Now, my hand, I didn't talk about my hand, but I'm keeping it because it's pretty nice. I've got, I mainly care about the Great U Bow, getting that out quick. So, I have it, I'm going to stop, but I also have some other nice cards in my hand, which will help later. Let's start the first turn, and of course, we play down the Great U Bow first, and we will save our, uh, you know what, I guess, the thing is I kind of want Gleowine out, but I also need Willpower so my threat doesn't skyrocket, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the Envoy first. For one, two, add a resource here, and then play the Great Ubo. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we reveal the giant beetle. Wow. Okay, so the nightmare version of the quest has some lower engagement enemies, I've realized. 
while Giant Beetle is engaged with a player, it gains. As an additional cost to travel to a safe location, Giant Beetle makes an immediate attack against the engaged player. Damaged characters cannot be declared as attackers or defenders against Giant Beetle. Alrighty. This will be interesting. <laughs> okay, we've got um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we do make one progress. And we will travel... We, well, we have to travel to the rocky foothills. We must engage the giant beetle. And it looks like I might not have an opportunity to attack with my great U-bow this turn, unless I want to take this undefended. Uh, looks like I'm just going to have to defend with Bard. We get attack one for each quest card in play. It's a good thing I didn't do undefended, because this guy's at five attack, deals three damage. Okay. Things are not going well. Start the new turn. I mean, okay. I will play the dagger down. You know what? Um, hmm. Do I want to use... This guy's going to constantly annoy me. So I'm just going to say that I triggered Aowen last round. One, two, three. And then she readied and killed it. So I don't need to worry about defending that guy anymore. So I used her once per game ability. Raise your threat by three to ready Aowen. She gets plus nine attack until the end of the phase. Limit once per game for the group. So it's a shame to burn that so early. But that beetle um, with the engagement cost of 14 just runs counter to this entire deck strategy. So I got to get rid of that. Okay. Um, all right. So let's go again. This time let's go to make camp for five, six, seven. And I will keep a Marthiel around, I guess. Reveal. Assign X damage among characters committed to the quest. X is the number of characters committed to the quest. Yikes. Okay, um, three damage. That'll be not much choice. One, two, three. But in good news, we had four, five, seven versus three. We make four progress. One, two, three, four. This place gets plus two quest points for each quest in play, so it's at plus four. So I still got to make progress later. Um, Bard can attack with the great U-Bow in the combat phase, and he's got three, four, five attack. They've got minus two defense, so I guess I will just deal five damage here, one, two, three, four, five, and start the next turn. Okay. We need to get Glaoline out, to Let's draw a card. Heed the dream. Okay. Uh, let's get out a Knight of the Swan for one. And we will quest for seven again on Make Camp. Ooh. Okay. Cruel Mountain Troll. For each excess point of combat damage dealt by Cruel Mountain Troll, damage dealt beyond the remaining hit points of the character damaged by its attack, you must remove one progress from each quest card in play. Okay, well he's at 46, so I won't have to engage him. We've got 7 versus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We make one progress. Bard will attack and deal 5 damage here. Because this guy's adding three threat, so we want to get rid of him fast. Okay, new round again. Let's get out Hannah Marth for one. And Yeah, quest for let's draw a card again. Paint. 
Okay, one, two, six, seven, eight. Okay. Reveal. Oh, geez. Um, we've got to deal one, two, three, four, five damage. That'll be one, two, three, four, kill off her, and then I guess five, killing off... Oh, sorry, Glaoline's not on the quest. So let's hold on a sec. We have four on the quest. That'll be one, two, three... And then we gotta kill a hero off because um, we have nowhere else to put damage. Okay, well, uh, I don't think I want to continue with the quest after that. I think uh, it's too early to in the game to uh, survive. So let's give it another shot before we drop down to regular mode. Alright, we pull the nightmare here. Okay, we want to get the great U bow. Okay, <laughs> well, we have Heed the Dream, so maybe this will help us. Okay, we got a quest here, another quest, and random numbers. Select five. One, two, three, four, five. We get lost in the wilderness. We lose all our cards. How is that fair? Okay. I'm taking a loss. <laughs> Alright, attempt number three. Um, I guess I get a new hand. And I don't like it, so I'm taking a mulligan. Okay. Let's pick a quest again. Two. Okay, we get Lie Low. And the random location is secluded cave. So lie low at the end of the quest phase. If no progress was placed on lie low this round, each enemy gets minus 20 engagement cost. So this will hurt our deck quite a bit. But fortunately, when we reveal it, it doesn't surge. After this stage is defeated, choose an enemy in the staging area and shuffle it into the encounter deck. Cool. Okay, so everything else gets shuffled in. Then we discard cards from the top until an enemy is discarded. There we go. Okay, this setup seems better. And we start a new turn. Oh, yeah. Okay, maybe the first setup was just really unlucky. Who knows? Draw two, and I will discard mm, probably a goblin cleaver. Let's draw two more. Um, hmm, some good card draw here. Uh, I don't need two Defender of Ramas, though. So get rid of that. Now, I would play Great U Bow now, but I've been burned before by that Beetle, so I'm going to play the Defender of Ramas. And we will quest for four, five, six, seven, uh, towards Lilo. Actually, you know what? don't need that much willpower, and actually I need to 
to reduce my threat from Aowen setup effect. Since there's only one threat in the staging area, I'm just going to leave a Marthiel behind to defend. In that case, I can spend the two on Great Ubo. So we got damage. Okay, so we quest for six. We reveal Surge attached to a side quest counts as a condition attachment with the text limit one per quest. While attached quest is the current quest, each character gets minus one willpower. Yikes. Each character, okay. So that means I'm only questing for four, and it surges into another one of these guys. So one, two, kind of get lucky, we still make two progress, and that does not trigger their minus 20 engagement. So I can attack and deal, let's see, they get minus two defense, so I deal two damage. Okay, uh, start the next turn. You get noiseless movement. Um, but I think... What do I want here? I want to start getting my Dagger of Westerness. So I'm going to spend two, search my top five, and grab my dagger. Sweet. Shuffle it up, play down the dagger for one. And might as well play Knights of the Swan for one. Okay. Somehow we've got to make progress again on here. Otherwise they get minus 20 engagement. Man, I really should have brought condition removal. Huh. Um... Is this the right play here? One, two, these are going to come down. Okay, it looks like uh, I'm not going to make progress if I have s flip up anything with threat, because I'm only going to be questing for three, or sorry, four. And there's two threat in the staging area already. So I'm going to not play Knights of the Swan. I'm not going to play my dagger either, because I'm going to need a defender. Okay, let's commit. Oh, maybe we'll get lucky and we'll get make progress here. So I'm going to commit one, two, three, four to the quest. We reveal doomed two. Remove each damaged character from the quest. Ah, okay, so we're good. We still make two progress, and so they don't get minus twenty engagement. So unfortunately, we could have killed one of these guys, oops, but um, instead we're just going to deal two damage, because I did not play my dagger. Next turn, okay, let's search our top five for some attachment, nothing there. Uh, okay, hmm. Now with my resources, I'm going to have to get the dagger out, at least, to kill something. And Knights of the Swan. With my other resource, I guess I could play Noiseless Movement. So let's quest again. One, two, three, four. We reveal. Each player assigns X damage among characters he controls, where X is the number of quests in play. Exhaust each damage, each damaged character in play. Okay. So, that's pretty easy. I will just deal, there's two quests, so I will do one and two, and ex exhausting them doesn't really affect me. So since we quest for four again, versus two, we make two progress, and they don't come down. So Bard, now with 5 attack, and they get minus 2 defense, he can deal 4 damage. I'll kill that spawn. 
And that's pretty much it for my turn. So I start the next turn. Uh, okay. I would like to get a healer out. Let's do that. One, two, and heal right away just in case I get some sort of bad treachery thing. Okay, we will commit four again to the side quest. We reveal... Oh, you got to be kidding me. Oh, limit one per quest. Oh, okay. I was worried for a second that all my characters get minus two willpower while going to this quest. So I guess this just whiffs because I have no other side quest to play it on. But it surges into Horwell River Serpent. Unfortunately, that means I quest for four versus four. I make no progress. So these guys get minus 20 engagement cost. All right. Well, that means they both come down. And because I didn't make progress here, I will. Oh, I don't have a noise of this movement to play. So it looks like I'll have to defend them. Okay. This guy's at two attack, this guy's at four attack, so I will defend at the four attack with the defender of Ramus. Plus one attack for each damaged character. Well, no damaged characters, so he's fine. For this guy, I'm thinking I want to actually kill him. So... Let's see. This guy's only at three attack. This guy's at three attack. Can we kill anything with six attack? No, we can't. So I guess there's not much point. I'll just defend with a Marthuel. And this guy gets plus nothing, and we get rid of the beetle. I'll search the top five. No attachment. Um, and he can't really do anything because these guys are under my engagement cost unfortunately um, yeah so we start a new turn now this is tricky I've got to deal with engaged enemies uh, I guess I just commit one, two, three, four to the staging area, to the quest, I mean. We reveal the vast troll fells. So this is three threat. We make one progress. And as an additional cost to travel to a safe location, each player must spend a resource. Heroes cannot gain resources by card effects. Interesting. We'll travel there. We've got to deal with these guys again. Um, so I will defend, shuffle one location with the safe keyword, but not its attached encounter back into the encounter deck. Oh, yikes. Shuffle that away. And no damage. We will defend now. Hmm. I want to kill something. So that means I will defend with my Master of the Forge. Plus one attack for each quest card in play. That guy, that means he attacks for four. I'm dead. I attack for one, two, three, and then four, five from this. Unfortunately, he doesn't get minus two defense because this is not a ranged attack. Six, seven, eight, nine, and that kills him. But I can play Foe Hammer. Exhaust, draw three. Okay. And we start a new turn. Alright, 
I definitely need more questing power, so I will play quick beam for two. And uh, another Defender of Ramus for two. And another Knight of the Swan for one. All right. Uh, we quest for... Ah, we got to get rid of this location. So I'm going to go on the main quest. So four, five, six, seven, eight. Reveal. Doom 2, remove each damaged character from the quest. Okay, well, um, so I removed Quick Beam. I should, probably should have healed him first. But that means 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, we didn't make progress here, so each enemy gets minus 20 engagement cost. This guy attacks. And I just realized he has a forced effect when you engage him, deal one damage to each damage character you control. I missed that, but it didn't really matter because I had no uh, damage characters. Defend with Ramus. Plus one attack for each damage character the defending player controls. Okay, well, <laughs> yeah, I guess he's dead because I didn't heal Quick Beam. Um, so he gets a plus one attack, kills the Ramus guy. I mean, that's probably something... <laughs> I could retcon, but I'm not going to. Uh, we attack for three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And that kills him. Okay, we're back in control. We got ready, everyone. Uh, okay. Kind of a slow deck if you haven't noticed. Um, let us quest to lie low, I guess. One, two, three, four, five. We reveal, scavenge for supplies. Cost to play each player card is increased by one. When the stage is defeated, search the encounter deck and discard pile for a troll enemy and put it into play. Engage with the player with the highest threat. Each player may play a card from his hand at no cost. Interesting. So you come to this cave and you find a monster, but you also find a bunch of goodies. Okay, well, we obviously succeed at the quest because there's no threat in the staging area. This goes in the victory display. After it's defeated, choose an enemy in the staging area and shuffle into the encounter deck. Well, nothing to do with that. Uh, I guess we just go on to the next round. Um, okay, I want more cards, so I'm going to play Glia Wine for two, and, oh, he costs three, whoops, oops, okay, well, I guess I'll hold off until I can beat this thing, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, reveal, Reveal one counter card for each quest card in play, so we got to reveal two. Each player assigns X damage to one character six controls where X is the number of quests in play. Exhaust each damage character in play. So we'll go one and two. So we exhaust them. And then the second card is included Glade, which is guarded. So we've got to reveal... Oh, it's a scavenging stone troll guarding it. Okay. This is, this is fine, this is fine. Um, we committed nine, and there's one threat. So we make eight progress. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is gone. And what's, what do we got? We got a searching counter deck and discard pile for a troll enemy and put it into play engaged with the player with the highest threat. Okay, well, um, I think the troll enemy I'm going to choose is the obvious one.
Uh, where is it? Are they all in the discard? Maybe they're all in the discard. Um, here we go. Here's a troll. All right. And so this guy's engaged with us. That triggers Pippin, because he has a higher engagement cost than our threat. Just barely, though. Actually, my threat's getting kind of scary for a deck with no threat reduction and that relies on engagement costs. Okay. Um, all right, so that's done. We also get to play a card from our hand at no cost. I will play down... Um, Mablong, and then put this guy back in the staging area. That's kind of nice, right? After he enters play, choose an enemy to get plus 5 engagement cost until the end of the round, then you may engage that enemy or return it to the staging area. Alright, um, and then I will attack, and... I will exhaust the Great Yuvo, target the Scavenging Stone Troll. He gets minus two defense, so I play Straight Shot. Exhaust a weapon attachment to choose a non-unique enemy with zero defense. Discard the chosen enemy. So discard my dagger, and the Stone, stone Troll goes away. We've got Secluded Glaive there. Great. Okay, um, now we... Can't attack him, so we just go to the next turn. Sweet. Uh, I got the black arrow. That's That'll get played. We'll play two. And two. All right. We'll probably draw now. Um, all right. Now, at the beginning of the quest phase, there's no encounter side quest in play, so I'm going to discard until we find one. Oh, here we go. So we reveal that, so it surges. Okay. Goes into the cold felt giant, and then for the quest, I'm going to go one, two, three, four. I think I'm going to go towards the main quest because I don't really care about this effect right now. Oh, um, yeah, I didn't use him at the end of the last round, so he was ready. Should have been able to just heal that off. Um, that is important because I'm not, I'm going to be ignoring this quest here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Um, 12. We reveal... Oh, Lost in the Wilderness. Yikes. Okay, we lose all our cards. That hurts. But, on the plus side... Um, this does not search. Yes, I know it's a small victory, but... 12 versus 1, uh, 2, 3, 4. So that's 8 progress. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We advance. Shuffle the encounter, discard pile into the encounter deck, discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until a side quest is discarded. Reveal that side quest and add it to the staging area if able. Okay, uh, we're going to have a lot of side quests in play here.
Wow, okay. Um, oh, whoops. Alright, so we got rid of a lot of cards in the encounter deck right there. Um, we reveal it. It doesn't surge, though. After one more resource is spent from resource hero's pool, deal one damage to that hero. I guess I don't need to worry about that since I don't have any cards. After the stage is defeated, heal one damage from each hero. Okay. Um, so we've done that. Reveal one additional encounter card during the quest phase unless there's an active location with the save keyword. Yikes. Okay. Um... All right, so when resolving the when revealed effects on stage 2A or 3A, also discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until a location with the safe keyword is discarded. Attach that location to the newly revealed side quest as a guarded objective. Oh, so we've got to discard, find a safe location. Now, let me see here. It's the quest phase, so we automatically reshuffle the encounter discard pile, I guess. So we just keep looking for a safe location. Okay, we found one, so we discarded. Okay, that was quite a lot of cards we just saw. Okay, so we quested successfully. It's now the travel phase. I guess I will go here. It's guarded, and it's safe. Immune to player card effects. After you travel, draw three cards. This will help. Draw, draw, draw. All right. So, what do I want to do here? I think I want to k attack something. And this guy's going to engage me soon, so I better attack him first. Four damage. All right. And... New turn. Okay, let's draw a card. I guess we can play the dagger down on Pippin. Yeah, it's at least you can fuel these uh, exhausting weapon effects. Um, okay, now I want to make progress on the main quest because uh, it's going to be revealing additional cards every turn. Um, Oh, shoot. After one or more resources... I should probably clear this first, I think. So, unfortunately, I take a damage here. Where did I spend it? Um, Bard? Okay. Uh, maybe I should spend it from Aowen instead. Okay. Uh, so, we're going to go forge for food. We will commit one, six, seven, eight, nine... 10, 11, 12. Man. Uh, okay. I need a deck with more willpower, I think. Ah, Surge. Okay, everyone gets minus one. So, three, four, five, six. I'm committing. <laughs> and it surges. Okay, this will go here. And another one. Attached to exhausted hero. Limit one per hero. Attached hero cannot ready and does not collect resources during the resource phase. Discard. No rest if the players travel to a safe location. Okay. Um, Alright. So we committed three, four, six. And there's one two, three here, so we make three progress. Oops. But this um, 
gets discarded automatically at the let's see oh shoot safe location is active we ignore all treachery effects all one revealed effects that is okay but it would still surge um, so that's gone that's gone and that's gone that's kind of nice um, okay so we actually do commit four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve versus one two three four so we make eight oh so seven here and one progress on forage for food yikes uh okay um i guess bard will attack this guy you know what actually bard will attack i'll engage him and goblin cleaver him and then bard will attack here dealing i guess he gets minus two defense and i've got five attacks of so three damage i will play black arrow to actually get rid of him and that's the turn okay um, need more questing power so I will commit to like this deal a damage six seven eight nine can't really be healed anyway so ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen I will draw a card. 14. We reveal two cards, I guess. One, Doom 2. Either search the encounter deck and discard pop for an encounter side quest and reveal it, or choose a different card and play to be the current quest. Um, yeah, I guess I wouldn't mind getting my cards back. So let's go to Lost in the Wilderness. And then the second card is Rugged Country, which gets plus two because we're going to a side quest. But we committed 14 minus four is 10 progress. Easily complete that. Get all our cards back and travel there. Start a new turn. Okay, now we'll go to Forge for Food again. Commit all the same characters. Um, I guess one more character. Okay. Um, so that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. If I get the quest that damages all X characters, where X is the number of questing characters, I think I'm just going to end. Giant Beetle. Okay. So 15, we get 13 progress. Oh, we have to reveal two cards. Move each damaged character from the quest. Okay, so we only do 11. And doomed to 2. All uh, right, so this will be nine, the three here and six here. We complete it. Heal one damage from each hero. Nice. Okay. Patch of Woods. After you travel to Patch of Woods, each player adds one resource to each of his hero's resource pools. Let's go there. One one one. I have. I should have. I should have Gandalf in this deck. That's one change I'll be making. Giant beetle. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna thread out soon. So this guy will engage me 
but I can noiseless movement him. So I will not, yeah, I'm just going to say no. Or do I need to even? How much attack do I got? Three, four, five, six, seven. That's enough. So I'll engage him, defend with Ramus. Shuffle one location with the safe keyword back into the encounter deck. Well then, this goes back in. We take no damage though, we kill him, and I get to draw three with Foe Hammer. Okay, and we start the next turn. Alright, play two. And I'm sc at scary high threat here. Uh, pay another two, two, one. Pay another one. Uh, let's see what we've got in our top five here. Uh, no questing characters to speak of. I guess we can grab him though. Oh, uh, yep. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Let's play down. Uh, I'm not sure what else to do here. I think I just got to make a questing push. So let's go four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I could do 20, but we're flipping two cards, so it's not likely that we will make progress. So let's just stay at 18. It'll take two turns. Reveal one. Assign X damage among characters to the quest. X is the number of characters committed to the quest. Yeah, this is the game ender here, I think. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12 damage, we can deal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We've got to kill off 4 guys. Um, I guess that'll be our 1 willpower guys. And do, 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 and we make 4 less. Okay, not quite a game ender, but let's see. This is guarded. Each player assigns X damage among characters he controls where X is the number of quests in play. Exhaust each damaged character in play. Okay, so that'll deal two damage, which we can take on Bard, and we exhaust him. And, okay, so 14 straight up on here. Now, let's take a look. What is... Uh, so is it Discard cards on top of the other deck. So the side quest is discarded. I want to see what I need to have for this here. Each damaged character gets minus two willpower unless there's an active location with the safe keyword. Okay. That's going to be rough. I'm going to need to be able to heal guys. Oh. After you travel to the Horwell, heal one damage from each character in play but characters cannot be healed. Okay, so we've got to go to make camp next. And then oh man, that's a lot of more a lot, a lot more cards to reveal. Okay, so we've got to heal up before we go to journey's end. So I'm not going to travel there. I am going to start the next turn and do I want to play anything let's play heed the dream search the top five grab I guess another noiseless movement shuffle that up and 
Okay, we're going to make camp. All right, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Is that going to be enough? I'm revealing two cards. It should be. Reveal. Reveal. Okay, while well it's in the staging area, when an ally enters play, you must either exhaust it or deal one damage to it. Okay. Um, so we've revealed three. We make nine progress. That's complete. And after it's defeated, each player heals up to three damage from a hero he controls. I'll grab three from there. And now... Uh, we can heal four damage. Let's do one, two, and then one, two. And I can also uh, ready one of them if I need to. But let's save that. 36. This guy would engage me. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven. I can't kill him. I don't think. All right, I defend. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Actually, no, I can't. I could, though, goblin clear him. So I'll engage him. Deal him a shadow card. Oh, he gets plus one, two, three, four, five. Five attack. So I will faint him. And oh, okay, I don't even need that. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and he's dead. And I'm not going to do that travel effect. Okay, um, we can go now, start the next turn. I think I want to advance here. So let's commit 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, um, 11, 12. Revealing two cards, maybe six, seven, eight. Hmm. Thirteen. Let's do fifteen. Reveal. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Uh, assign X damage when characters come into the quest. X is the number of characters coming into the quest. We've got one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight committed to the quest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Are we full up here? Gotta kill off Gleowine. Eight. And reveal another card. Vast Troll Fells. Um, heroes cannot gain resources. Okay. So 14 versus 3, 4, 5. We make 9 progress. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We advance. So shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. Discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until a side quest is discarded. I don't know if we have more side quests here. Oh, make camp should be in the victor display. There's none there. And we've got... Oh, we do. We have isolated. Okay. Alright then. And then, do we have any more... We should have more safe locations still. All right. We've got... Nope. None in there. And... Yeah, we have a couple. Okay, so let's do this. We shuffle this in, and 
we've got to discard. Okay. We'll basically discard until... Oh, there it is. Oops. Reveal it so it surges. Yikes. Oh. Okay, this guy's at 46. All right. Um, I think I have a way to deal with him, though. Okay. So, that guy's revealed, and... Um, now we discard for a safe location. Here we go. Alright, so now my characters get minus two willpower unless there's an active location with the safe keyword. Let's go to this place with the safe keyword. Now, an additional cost is we gotta spend a resource. So, uh, that's no problem. Heal one damage from each character in play. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. And I will also... Um, should I... Players cannot draw cards by card effects. No, that's fine. Maybe I leave that there. Okay, we've got some threat in the staging area. I'm going to heal off one, two, and I think I'm going to noiseless movement him so that he does not... In Actually, I'm at 45, he's at 46, so I don't need to play that this turn. We just leave it at that. Okay. Start a new turn. Draw, draw. I will get rid of... Hmm. This guy. Alright. We can... Yeah. So I pay one for him. Is it worth it? Uh, I've got to exhaust him, though. So that he doesn't die. Okay. Now... Characters get minus two willpower. Unless there's an active location with a safe keyword. So we're good for now. We've got to do a questing push here. There's a lot of threat in the staging area, though. Um, one, two, three. Sorry, one, sorry. Six, seven, eight, nine. You know what, uh, before I quest, let me spend one on Heed the Dream, search my top five, grab the Knight of the Swan, and play him. Uh, and exhaust him. Okay, he just buffs the other guys. Okay, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Huh. I'm not going to make much progress here. Twelve. Thirteen. Okay, we got thirteen. Let's see what we can do with this. Reveal. Rocky Foothills. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We only make three progress, unfortunately. And that goes in the victory display. Okay, when faced with the option to travel, okay, we've got to go there. And this guy, he's at 46, but actually 47 from Pippin, so he does not engage. Bard, exhaust, attacks, he goes down to zero defense, and we straight shot him. Okay, 46, we got to win in a couple turns here. Okay, um, so let's get another questing ally for two, deal him a damage. We heal up one and one, and heal up one and one. Quest with everyone, one, two, three, four, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And let's see what we turn up. Okay, each player assigns X damage among characters he controls, where X is the number of quests in play. Okay. Um, could we kill off our Knights of the Swan, maybe? Is Yeah, I think we could. Just to get as mo the most amount of quest progress as possible. Because anyone, any questing ally we damage is going to get minus two defense. So I'm going to deal one here and one here and kill them off. So I maintain my 15. And we've got one, two, five. So we make 10 progress. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that's gone. We could travel now. Um, I don't know if it's worth it. I'm, just in case it takes us two more turns, I am going to travel, though. Okay, new turn. Let's quest again. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. We reveal. Salvage Troll Spawn. 17 minus 3 is going to be 14 progress. So 4 here. 2, 3, 4, and 10 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And it, it's over. So we successfully beat this quest, despite having a really slow deck that took forever to get questing allies out. Overall, I don't know if this deck is that good. As you can see, I've got a ton of leftover resources. I am going to put Gandalf in this deck because my threat is like at 48. He could have been really helpful at this point. Um, just without resource acceleration, he's not so good in the early game. Um, overall, I think it set out what it intended to do. Bard used Great U Bow to good effect a number of times. And um, we even made good use of. Uh, our straight shots using his minus two defense ability. So I think it was fun to play, and obviously it isn't a terrible deck because it just beat Nightmare across the Etten Moors. Um, so let me know what you think. Uh, thanks for watching, and happy questing.